database mail is an enterprise solution for sending emails from SQL Server Database Engine. Your applications can send email to users using the database mail via an external SMTP server. The messages can contain query result and also include files from your network location. By default, the SQL Server Database Mail Store procedures are disabled. And in order to send database mails, you must be a member of the database user mail role in the MSD database. In order to configure database mail, you need a prerequisite of your SMTP server information. For this tutorial, I'll be using Google Mail Server as the example. So the first step in creating a database mail profile is to expand management. Right click on database mail, configure database mail. Now at this point, you may get a prompt to enable your database mail. However, I had done that in advance, so I didn't get the prompt. So you can choose to skip this page in the future, then select next. So this is the first time we are doing a setup. So we need to set up database mail by performing the following tasks. Create a new email profile and specify SMTP account. Specify profile security and configure system parameters. So select next. Here you need to give your profile a meaningful name. So I'm going to call it DB mail. Then you're going to add your SMTP account. You can add multiple SMTP accounts. So this is Gmail. So I'm going to call this one Gmail. So I'm going to call this one Gmail. So here, so you need to specify your outgoing email address, the display name that you want to send, specify your display name. I'm going to be using SQL Server for the reply email. It is not required. However, if you have a reply email, you can specify it here. And this is where you specify your SMTP server name. So in this case, it will be smtp.gmail.com. The server requires an SSL connection. So we're also going to change the port to 465. And you'll need to specify the basic authentication in this case. However, in your organization, it may be different where you can send emails without specifying a username and password. So I'm going to specify the username as the Gmail account here and username and password. Then select OK. So the SMTP account has been configured. Now let's go to the next screen. So you can set the profile as public proof. This will be available to all users who uses SQL Server. And you can set the diff profile as default. Then select next. Here you can configure your system parameters. You can keep the default. Then select next. Then finish the setup to complete the setup. So once everything is successful, you can do a send test mail and then send a test email to yourself. However, the information provided in this configuration are not accurate, so I am not expecting the mail to be sent. Once it's in mail, you'll get this notification. So if you check your email and everything is fine, then you select OK. If not, you proceed to complete the troubleshooting. So once your database mail is configured accurately, and if you have a job that fails, then you will be notified. However, there are many use cases for the database mail. So it's ideal you set it up when you're configuring your servers.